y'all welcome to another unboxing video because they all decided to come in within three days of each other so we are throwing off our video schedule completely and putting up the adult fiction unplugged box for january yay but i'm excited to see what's in it because it does have a little bit of weight to it i want to see what they did i no longer remember the book this seems to be a running theme of what's happening Yep, yeah, that it does it does because things are delayed and then i forget I even look at spoilers and then I bring it. Yeah, it's been so long. It's been so long. It was like December when I looked at that. I really shouldn't though, but I can't. I just, I can't control myself with this. When they put those up, I was like, I want to be surprised. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, so this month they are starting their new thing where they are putting biodegradable packing peanuts in. So these are supposed to dissolve under water. The cat is still gonna have a field day with those though, probably, okay. And we have a box that looks like it's busting at the seams to be opened. And, oh, I actually got the spoiler card this month. I can see it. It's underneath our box. Boxes. Boxes. And our first item is a mug. Who's that? of the babe. The babe with the power. Oh my goodness. That movie. That movie. <laughs> so that's super cool. Move stuff out of the box. Don't put stuff back in the box. Okay, what's this? I was going to go for the other box, but there's a, a bath bomb thing. Bergamort murder. All good showers here. Oh, is it a shower one? Ooh. Yes, it's a shower steamer. Yay. Much more useful than a bath bomb. Because seriously, like most of us take showers mm, all the time. So, yeah. Much more useful. And I guess it smells like bergamot. Which, I don't know what bergamot smells like, so there's that. Here is that. Okay. And now we go for the other box. Which is our candle. It looks bigger though than like the last candle I feel like we got. Is it bigger? It might be fatter. It might be fatter. By the colors, I, I am still God. Light song. So our Warbreaker inspired item is a candle. Did he say I'm still God? I don't know. And it's got like a picture of his profile. Essence of sloth. <laughs> true. That is so true. Is a he actively tried not to do things that were expected of him. What is this? Something soft. Seven cotton pads of Evelyn Hugo. Never let anyone make you feel ordinary. Okay, so they all say the same thing. I guess they're reusable cotton makeup removers? Maybe. And it's got her, like, picture, like, from the book with her in the dress. In the profile. Yes. I did a better explanation a minute ago. Okay, okay, okay. And this... Okay. This is the author letter. It is outside the book. And it's got a picture of a man with a hand, his head in his hand. Aren't we different? And our theme for the Adult Fiction January box was Terrifying Truths. Okay. Oh, nope. I found something else. Is it a lip balm or something? Perfume? 
Robin, lemon ginger tea and old books. Solid perfume. How does that work? It does smell really good though. So, like you, you rub it and, yep. It's tiny. It smells really good. I don't know how I'm ever gonna like put it on. Let's see, move lights on back and put this next to the shower steamer so the little items stay together. All right, now I think that's everything except the book. So we can actually look at this spoiler card ahead of time. No, because I always put the spoiler card at the end and then just time stamps would be weird. I read the formula. No, no. Wow, ah, this book is bigger than the ones I know I sent. Okay. without hurting the book. Oh, put plastic without hurting the book. Oh, okay. There's a hole. There's a hole in my plastic. Which does not bode well, seriously. Like, you know, honestly, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. So the bottom of the spray edges, okay, all around is a city scene. Like, that's what the spray edges is. You see the tops of skyscrapers. And it's different angles, I think. Like, wow, they actually did this one quite differently. It's, it's a city scene and you have different size skyscrapers as you travel around. I think it's like legit map. And it is The Sleepless by Victor Manbo. And you've got these neon eyes. Never dream again. Okay. A mysterious pandemic causes a quarter of the world to permanently lose the ability to sleep without any apparent health implications. The outbreak creates a new class of people who are both feared and ostracized, most of whom optimize their extra hours to earn more money. Journalist Jamie Vega is a sleepless. He can't sleep, nor does he need to. When his boss dies on the eve of a controversial corporate takeover, Jamie doesn't buy the too convenient explanation of suicide and launches an investigation of his own. But everything goes awry when Jamie discovers that he was the last person who saw Simon alive. Not only do the police suspect him, Jamie himself has no memory of that night. Alarming, his memory loss may have to do with how he became sleepless. Not naturally, like other sleepless people, but through a risky and illegal biohacking process. As Jamie delves deeper into Simon's final days, he tangles with the extremist organizations and powerful corporate interests, all while confronting past trauma and unforeseen consequences of his medical experimentation. But Jamie soon faces the most dangerous decision of all as he uncovers a terrifying truth about sleeplessness that imperils him and all of humanity. <laughs> oh, I kind of want to read this this month. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's take off this. Take off this. Look at this cover. So we have binary code down here and our eye of different colors. And then this golden eye my god this is pretty and the inside cover is blue it's just our black lines kind of like you know code running in the background and it's sign yes oh let's see how many pages is this book i feel like this is bigger than the one we it is it's almost 400 pages it's 388 pages so pretty and it's so cool sounding and I might squeeze it into February because it's different I can't say that yet I can't say that I have a, I have a big list for February I have a moderately sized list for February I suppose that will transform into a big list so maybe maybe it still gets to go on the February list I'm gonna put it like this I'm going to put it like this because that's just so pretty and I want to show off the the actual cover of the book. Okay, now we can look at the spoiler card that I said no to earlier. <laughs> um, oh, they put an apology in here. They said that we do apologize that your box is late this month if, and if you missed the emails and everything, it's because of the, um, 
the factory where they got the book and the book was printed that they had a lot of COVID restrictions so it just it shipped to unplug themselves late and it delayed the whole box shipping out but what can you do so our first item was the labyrinth mug collectible of course um let's see who made it by the art of I will put the name. Made by an artist. <laughs> the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo Reusable Cotton Rounds. And that's part of their new green initiative. We'll be featuring some fun, useful products that are typically things that are one use. Uh, use these in place of cotton rounds and simply wash when needed. The art is by Lee Braver Berry. Try to put the names here. I want to try and put all the artists that you know help contribute to these things because they are cool. Warbreaker Candle Collectible, which just uh, says a oh, typical ghost. It smells of musk and sandalwood. Oh, I just assumed it was like the other ones that had no smell. Okay. I'll give it, this one does have more of a smell than those other soy candles we were getting that just, it smelled like I was burning clean air. Okay, that one's fine. So that one's fine. It, it has a scent. Okay, uh, next one is All Good People Here Shower Steamer. And it's based on All Good People Here by Ashley Flowers. And I don't know. It's exclusive shower steamer by Pit Richer, Richter Inc. I should stop trying to say people's names. A uh, Babel Solid Perfume. Oh, because it says Robin on the front and the main character of Babel is Robin. Oh, sure, that's a bit of a stretch, but sure. I mean, it just it just has the name and that's about it. Um, and it's by Fiction Becca. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then it says our January book of the month and it shows how this cover is different than the original and it's it's the eye color, the neon eye color there on the cover. The original is going to be purple and there's this blue. That works. The recipe for January is curry lentil soup. And of course it has your January writing prompts for discovering your truth. And our February sneak peek is going to be On Edge. It's a gorgeous exclusive thriller book uh, in the next Cafe Unplugged item. And I'm trying to remember if I actually looked at the thing for February and I think I did. I think I did. But again, I already don't remember. So far though, the February box is gonna be on time. So we should see it in like a week or so. Alright y'all, what do we think of the box? Let me know down, down below <laughs> what your favorite item was um, or least favorite. I like that they are trying to do this green thing and put more reusable items besides just the mugs. So that's cool. And we will see how the packing peanuts do. Biodegradable. Let's keep them away from the cat. And uh, the squiggles at least were pet safe. They have said these are pet safe. I'm going to look into it more and of course I'm not going to test it with her. We'll see if she attacks it, if they get dropped. That, that's about it. Um, and supposedly they can wash down the sink. Yet again, off, I don't know. Okay. I'm really, really wanting to pick this book up though. Like, I'm in the mood for it, so we'll see. I like the box though. You'll have to let me know what you thought, what, what you think they're doing for 2023. If, are they off to the right footing? Are we liking it? I have a unboxings obviously like this hopefully more i know they're coming soon I, there's already one other one but um if you're new here hi i'm morgan i do the unboxings i have book reviews and a new series where we talk about new books that are coming out every single week like this one so if you haven't yet please consider subscribing and joining me for the next video thank you guys all so much for being here and i'll see you next time bye